What's up guys, welcome back to the North. Today we'll be reviewing the Crossman Diamondback Nitro Piston Elite 17 caliber air rifle. So with that, let's get into the video. Let's jump right into it guys. Up here at the front, we've got the front iron sight that corresponds to this rear iron sight. This one is adjustable. This one is locked in place. Um, what I have right here in my hand on, this is a suppressor for this gun. It is mounted. It is not able to be taken off. Right here, this barrel, full metal barrel, weighs, takes up most of the weight, and the other half of the weight's right here where the spring is. This is a brake barrel air rifle, so it's single shot, and to prime it, you need to slap the barrel down and charge it. I will show you the firing in a bit. Going back here, back here on the bottom, this is the port where you, it, the barrel slides down. And I'm not sure what this is for. I tried putting a string for a sling on it, and it bent pretty bad. It has not affected performance, though. In here, in here is the internal assembly. It has a spring that compresses and fires at of 17 caliber projectile at 1400 feet per second, so 1400 feet per second. Up here we have a 4x32 scope, so this has a 4 times magnification and it's 32 centimeters I think. Right now I'm still getting it sighted in, but it's better than it was well, when I was filming it a couple days ago. Right here, this is the safety flick it forward to disengage safety right now it is on safety next to it is the trigger this is a three pound trigger pull and it is a adjustable trigger if you want to adjust it back here synthetic stock and a pistol grip to finish it off all right that concludes the overall overview of the exterior of it now just go see it firing to load this behemoth right here first what you want to do is support the stock onto your thigh or your leg. You're going to face it, the barrel, in a safe direction where it is not pointed towards anybody. Make sure it stays on safe. And when you're ready, go ahead and lightly tap to unsnap the barrel. Unsnap it and then bring it down until it clicks. Right here you have a primed primed air rifle and you are ready to breech load it with a 17 caliber bullet. Keep in mind that the prime strength of this air rifle is extremely heavy. You, If you're a smaller child, then you might need assistance from an adult to prime it. I, When I first got it over a year ago, I had trouble priming it, but now that I've gotten more used to it, I can do it more effectively. Today we'll be using 7 grain lead nose, uh, round nose points. This is a .177 caliber rifle. To load take the breech you should always check if the barrel is clear I uh, barrel is clear I just checked and you take your pellet load it nose first into the breech like so until it clicks in and is flat with the breech you then close the barrel of the rifle and it is now ready to shoot when you take the safety off and pull the trigger let's go see it see it shooting just real quick while I'm getting this air rifle and target setup. I am gonna say this that I have safety precautions in place. It is hearing safe, and I have eyewear, and I do have a backstop outside that I'll be using. Also, if you do want to purchase this gun, there is an, this air rifle. There is websites you can visit. Go just search up Crossman Diamondback Nitro Piston Elite, and you should be able to find it pretty easily. I bought this one at a deal off of Christmas for 120, but it usually goes for around 150 dollars. Real quick, I just want to show you the safety measures I have in place. This is my custom built backstop, and then I do have a bridge behind this. But this is a slanted wall in the back with sheet metal, and then another three quarter inches of wood behind it. Usually, what happens is the sheet metal slows it down, and then it hits the wood and it collects right there, and it just falls down. I will also be wearing safety glasses in just in case of ricochet. And I'll be standing roughly 
three yards back. All right, guys, we got all the safety measures in place. We have the rifle loaded, and we got our backstop set up. I'm just going to fire a round off, and then we'll move the camera so it's facing the backstop. You can see the damage it does. Um, to give you a recoil comparison, it's pretty close to a 22 because of the high power of this one. So with that, let's get into it. All right. Safety's off now. Safety's disengaged. Firing in three, two, one. All right, let's go move the camera. Okay, so I've got the target set up. I've got the air rifle reloaded. I have this nice piece of wood right here to show the speed and energy that this air rifle is delivering. So I'm gonna step back and fire. Right. Three, two, one, firing. All right, let's go see results. Oh crap. Guys, we're back inside and here is where I hit and this was with a lead pellet, and it made it about halfway through this nice slab of wood we got here. And considering it's lead, that is a really, really good entrance channel. Um, if I was, if I had more time, I'd use these copper bullets, but I do not have more time. But here is the results of our shooting, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed seeing the diamond back. Go ahead and subscribe, we will have it in future videos, and coming up will be the Humorex Fusion 2 review. Bye.